Pankope Parish is one of the greatest parishes in Louisiana. It's just a small town. It's not a big city. You get to, you get to go across the street every day and fish. Every Sunday, I cook for my family. This is what a family means. Together, we're together. Oh. You can be on the north end in, in Bachelor up here, or you can be on the south end down there in Livonia and Maringouin and still find somebody you know. We have a bond, a good bond with the people. Really, I feel there's it's so many cultures combined in one to make our culture here in Point Capi. With just love and respect. And when you have love and respect, that's something you can't buy. We didn't lose that respect that we have for each other. Literally, people will grow up here and stay here. I remember him. I can look up and down the street or across the road from where I live, where I can see my whole life. Obviously, it's an agricultural community. Everybody learns to work hard. I started driving a tractor at five years old. I was always taught that you got to do what you got to do. But I got this medal. It took the place of a Medal of Honor. We have um, great agriculture, the pecans, the sugar cane. We as kids, like literally on our drive to school, we pass by farms. We get stuck in traffic behind tractors and <laughs> we see our food being grown before it's put on our plates. The soil is real strong. It's from the two rivers, the Mississippi and the Chafalaya. It's part of the reason why we are so blessed here in Point Coupee Parish because of the soil that we have. And the church going people, they don't miss their mass. Yeah, they had a 1955 food truck. And even would pick up people on the side of the road going to church. So people are still strong in their faith and that's one thing that has not changed and hopefully it will never change. I got this French accent because the lady place that we used to farm, she was a French woman. Both my parents spoke Creole and um, all of the people in the neighborhood mainly spoke Creole. Back then, if you a youngster like me would speak French, that was, that was a no-no. You know, you're strictly English, you want to speak English. Mardi Gras, Gras means fat. Mardi in French or uh, Creole is Tuesday. My biggest regret is that I didn't teach it to my children. I taught them words here and there, but you know, you always think that things are gonna last forever and they don't. When you lose your language, your culture, you have lost an enormous part of your heritage. I always felt you should know where you came from, and it's a lot of history in this parish. This is the oldest book that we have. It's dated back to 1771. These old things are physical reminders that we're part of a long continuum of people who came before us. But this is the way that these records were all stored, and you see, you can see how fragile. Without a formal record of our past history, I don't think future generations will ever fully understand the sacrifice. Made three invasions, Philippines, Iwo Jima, and Okinawa. What they did then made a difference as to who we are and what we are today. And therefore, what we do now makes a difference for those who come after us. For my kids, I just want them to ex just experience pieces of what I experienced as a kid. Community of Point Capi is so amazing. The older I get, the more I know that I cannot leave this place forever. And no matter where life takes me, I'm always gonna find my way back here. Because if you don't know where you came from, it is hard to figure out where you're going.